Hey you guys, it's me Thomas number one fan 2003 here. And as you can see I'm here with the Batter Up SpongeBob book that I got during summer 2019. And you will remember that yesterday I reviewed the SpongeBob Soccer Star book. And um <clears throat> funny thing is when Random House um took over um the SpongeBob books, if you know what I mean. Um these two stories were actually in a two-in-one book called Butter Up Soccer Star, just without the Spongebob part. And, um, I used to have that book. Oh, yeah, and plus that book came with over 50 stickers with Soccer Star and Butter Up Spongebob as, like, you know, two-in-one version. Came with over 50 stickers, and it was actually pretty cool. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty obvious that I don't have my two-in-one version anymore, but it's okay, it's fine. Um, but, um, yeah, yesterday we reviewed Soccer Store, and they were two-in-one version together. But anyways, let's get started with looking at the Batter Up SpongeBob book. So as you can see, there's SpongeBob hitting a baseball with his bat. And Patrick's cheering for him with a bucket of popcorn, well, a bag of popcorn. And a bunch of fish are cheering for him as well. For Spongebob. And, um, yeah, just like the Soccer Star book, it has that Spongebob face right there. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the newer Nickelodeon logo is on this book. It's the old one as an example. I'm so sorry. And here's the spine. And the back, as you can see, it has a lot of books listed as well, just like my other books that I have by Simon Spotlight. And right here is a description, which is a pretty good description. So let's get started looking at the pages. And yeah, just ignore that right there. I got this book used, so someone drew... A little face right there with a pencil and um yeah some of these pages had like numbers written on them but it's pretty obvious that I erased all of them but yeah there's Spongebob all nervous and he got a strike and yeah, this book is illustrated by Warner McGee so yep so Spongebob's dad calls him and he tells Spongebob that he's on a baseball team, and Spongebob says that he would love to play on the baseball team. So, yeah, and Spongebob used to play baseball as a little kid. Well, it was called T-ball for, like, little kids, like a much more safer version of baseball made for little kids. Yeah, there he is as a little kid. He's so cute, to tell you the truth. He's really cute. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and he was actually really, really good, and everyone called him Slugger Squarepants. And Spongebob still remembers how to play, but he just needs a little practice, so he goes downstairs to his basement to dig out his equipment. So he found all of his old T-ball stuff in his basement. So he finds a fat plastic bat and a tea. And a glove and ball. And he also found his old little cap that he had. But um it's a little bit like smaller for him, so since he had it since he was a little kid. So SpongeBob is trying to like um brush up on his baseball skills and Patrick comes and Spongebob says that the key is to keep your eye on the ball. And Patrick says that it's easy to keep your eye on the ball when it doesn't go anywhere. So, that is so funny. <clears throat> Sorry. So, um, Spongebob goes to the baseball field, but, um... But he doesn't realize that they're playing actual football. 
So, um, the bats are made out of wood, which is pretty obvious. And, um, they have, like, real baseballs, if you want to say that. The baseball that SpongeBob had as a little kid was squishy. But, um, yeah, it's pretty obvious that this is, like, the more adult football. And Patrick loves the ice cream. And Spongebob sees his dad. And Spongebob is extremely, extremely, extremely nervous. But, um, he, he, um, he has to give the scary version of baseball a try. And Patrick loves the lemonade. So, yeah, the ice cold lemonade that they serve there for the people watching them the stands or whatever whatever you want to say I'm sorry and Spongebob is at, up at bat first so he finds a small bat and they're really really heavy and Spongebob gets a batting helmet but Spongebob unfortunately um doesn't get a bat well, he doesn't, like, get the ball, so, um, he's out, but, um, Spongebob feels a little bit better when he just has to catch the ball and, like, throw it and stuff, but then he's at bat again, so, um, So he remembers to keep your eye on the ball, and he swung his bat, and ooh, he got a hit, and um, he nearly forgot to run. So Spongebob got a home run, which is very, very good. As you can see, he got a home run. So that they, they went that they go on to win a, to win the game or whatever, and um, I guess SpongeBob's team won. So yeah, SpongeBob's team won. So yeah, and SpongeBob's dad is very very proud of him for winning. And SpongeBob says that anytime the team needs another player, he's ready. So, um, yep. So that's pretty much all for the Batter Up Spongebob book. And yeah, I really, really love this book a lot. It's actually one of my favorites, along with Soccer Star. I don't know, I, lo I like a lot of Spongebob books. But, um, yeah, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this book. So, yep, goodbye everybody and have a great day and peace out.